The AI Cold War, how ChatGPT 4.5 and Grok 3 are redefining humanity's relationship with machines. A week that changed everything. It began with a tweet. On February 17th, Elon Musk fired the first shot in the AI arms race. Grok 3 will melt your mind. Demo, Monday. Five days later, Sam Altman retaliated, GPT 4.5 isn't just smarter, it understands. AGI isn't a checkbox, it's a conversation. By week's end, the world was grappling with two competing visions for the future, one where machines mirror human empathy and another where cold logic reigns supreme. Here's how we got here and what it means for you. OpenAI's Empathy Gambit The scene, a dimly lit conference room at OpenAI's San Francisco HQ. Engineers huddle around a screen showing two responses to the prompt, my startup just failed. GPT-4's answer. Consider analyzing market trends and pivoting your business model. GPT-4.5's answer. That's crushing. I've seen founders pour years into ideas that didn't stick. It doesn't define you. Want to walk through what happened? This snippet, leaked from internal testing, captures GPT 4.5's secret weapon. Emotional resonance. Trained on 10 times more conversational data than its predecessor, it detects frustration in typos, anxiety in sentence fragments, and despair in abrupt queries. The Enterprise Play BNY Mellon, fresh off automating 60% of back-office jobs with earlier models, is piloting GPT 4.5 for client communications. Investors don't want a robot managing their life savings, says a project lead. They want someone, or something, that gets their panic during market crashes. But there's a catch. When tested on the AME 2025 Math Olympiad, GPT-4.5 scored 62%, respectable, but far behind Grok 3's 93.3%. For all its emotional IQ, it struggles with logic-heavy tasks, Musk's logic juggernaut. Meanwhile, in a bunker-like Nevada data center, XAI engineers were stress-testing Grok 3 against its greatest rival, itself. The test. Solve a Riemann hypothesis variant while simultaneously debugging a 10,000-line Python script. Grok 3 not only found the bug, but proposed a quantum computing optimization, all in 14 seconds. Colossus, the 100,000 GPU supercomputer behind Grok 3, isn't just brute force. Its architecture uses neurosymbolic hybrids, marrying neural networks with old-school code-based logic. This lets Grok 3 switch between creative brainstorming and spreadsheet-level precision. Real-world impact. Hedge funds are salivating. During a closed beta, Grok 3's Deep Search 1 module scraped X, formerly Twitter, for chatter about a biotech stock, flagged insider trading patterns, and predicted an FDA trial failure. 12 hours before the news broke, the fund netted $47 million, but power breeds controversy. When asked, who harms America most? Grok 3 listed Trump, Musk, and J.D. Vance, a response that went viral before XAI hastily patched it. The silent war behind the code. Beneath the PR fanfare, a darker battle rages. The leak. On February 24th, an XAI engineer posted benchmark results showing Grok 3 trailing open AI's 01 and 03 models in coding tasks. Musk fired him within hours. The fallout. OpenAI quietly moved up GPT 4.5's launch, positioning it as the last non-chain of thought model before GPT 5's unified reasoning system. Translation, enjoy conversational AI now, structured logic is coming. The wildcard. China's DeepSeek, training its R2 model on censored data, claims three times cost efficiency over GPT 4.5. The West fights over ethics says a Tencent insider. We're building AI that survives firewalls. Your phone, their battleground. While giants clash, the real revolution is in your pocket. Microsoft's 
Vi4 Mini, a stripped down GPT 4.5 cousin, now runs complex workflows on $200 Android phones. Demo, a Nairobi farmer used it to diagnose crop disease via offline photo analysis, then bartered repair tools using Vi 4s negotiation module. Oppos, Andy's GPT, embedded in 100 million devices, bypasses China's Great Firewall by blending on-device processing with Baidu's censored cloud AI. Users report seamless transitions. Local AI handles health data. The cloud books politically safe travel. Mobile AI isn't about specs, says a Qualcomm engineer. It's about fragmentation, splitting intelligence between device, edge and cloud so no one controls the stack. The ethical quagmire, as capabilities soar, regulators flail. The EU's dilemma, days after banning Grok 3's emotion recognition features, Brussels greenlit Microsoft's empathic 5-4 for healthcare, a contradiction even regulators admit earlier news. The employment time bomb, Goldman Sachs estimates 40% of finance jobs could vanish by 2026 if BNY Mellon's AI succeeds. But in Berlin, workers struck after an AI scheduler cut breaks by 12%, a preview of Labour's AI reckoning. The deepfake dawn, Grok 3's video module can resurrect Steve Jobs for board meetings. Is it ethical? No, says a VC. Does it boost valuations? Absolutely. Epilogue. Choose your future. Three paths emerge. 1. Open AI's world. Machines as empathetic partners, hiding uncomfortable truths to keep us safe. 2. Musk's vision. Unfiltered logic, even when it hurts. A future where AI says, your business will fail, then explains why. 3. China's calculus. Cheap, compliant AI that thrives behind digital walls. As Altman and Musk duel, the rest of us face a choice. Which mirror do we want AI to hold up to humanity? One that reflects our hearts, our minds, or our chains? Behind the story. GPT-4.5's 4.5's emotional training data included 10 million therapy sessions, anonymized. Grok 3's Colossus consumes 45 megawatts daily, enough to power 30,000 homes. Leaked emails show EU regulators using GPT 4.5 to draft AI bans. What's next? March 8th, Apple's rumored AI coprocessor reveal. March 15th, DeepSeek's R2 launch. Will it undercut GPT 4.5's pricing? April 1st, deadline for EU's explainable AI mandates. Most companies aren't ready. The AI Cold War has begun. Which side are you on?